hole number one, the crater. A par four hole, 356 yards, has a wide fairway bordered by unforgiving penalty areas on both sides. Stroke index 12. The 12th hole in terms of average difficulty is quite easy if you stay on the fairway. The brown is guarded by two palm trees that are quite famous for holding lofted approach shots. Hole number two, Hellfire Corner. The second most difficult hole, stroke index two, is a 340 yard par four, which dog legs to the right. The large name on the left is the ideal place to be under and the large tree on the right edge of dog leg makes the approach require skill. A tall palm watches over the left of the brown with overhanding names on the right. Hole number three, the road hole. Our first par five stroke index four, almost 500 yards, starts with an imposing neem tree that intimidates you. Past the neem tree is a long white fairway bordered by treacherous rough areas on the left and tall fir trees on the right. Over a small hill, two bunkers guard this fairly large brown. Hole number four, the Fajara. A short par four, 311 yards, requires a well-lofted drive to clear trees just ahead. Two bunkers guard the brown of this hole that has a stroke index of 8. Hole number 5, Sand Dunes, a short 140-yard par 3, among the easier holes with a stroke index of 16, has a sand dune with troublesome palms just short of the fairway, slopes towards the left towards the brown, and two bunkers on the left of the brown. Hole number 6, Westward Ho. Aptly named, a beautiful view from this elevated 170-yard part tree looking down into the Atlantic Ocean. Stroke index 14, not as easy as it has irrecoverable rough areas all around the brown, accentuated by a strong breeze coming in from the Atlantic. Hole number 7, South Coal. This 274-yard par 4 is not at all as easy as its 18-stroke index suggests. Thick impossible rough bush border the narrow approach past tall palm trees and a large fairway bunker that requires a straight long drive to take you uphill to the brown. Definitely not a walk in the park.
Hole number 8. West Slopes. A 225 yard par 3 that is quite challenging if you slice to the right. Tall palms are renowned for holding well lofted balls. Two brown side bunkers, one on the left and the other just over the hole and a very tall palm tree got the brown. Stroke index is 6. Hole number 9, North Goal. This 152 yard battery needs to be accurate. John Baldwin's pawn sits midway on the right of the fairway with impossible rough penalty areas on the right. Virtually surrounded by palm trees, this brown slopes heavily to the right making it a very challenging putt on this 10 stroke index hole. Hole number 10, Bakoto. This 11 stroke indexed, 330 yard, par 4, has a very narrow fairway bordered on the right by an out of bounds area. Short drives find a marshy pathway which could make play difficult. Your approach over a hill finds this slopey brown that borders the quarter stream. So careful if your approach is long. Hole number 11, Quarter Stream, our first part 3 water hole, index 13, a little footbridge and a muddy pathway takes you to the tee box. 147 yards is not long but a difficult rough and the water of the stream with children quite often jumping off the foot of the bridge into the stream makes this an intimidating hole. The brown slopes towards you and putting is not very easy either. Hole number 12, Names. The 478 yard par 5 is stroke index 15, has a long narrow approach that needs to be straight to get you to the fairway. Impossible bush on the right and tall palm trees on the left. The fairway opens out to take you to a short neem tree on the left and two palm trees on the right of this fairway. On the left of your approach to the brown is an impossible to recover of. Neem trees got the far end of this fairly large brown. Hole number 13, the water hole. Stroke index 1, our toughest hole is a 385 yard par 4 which starts with a narrow approach to the fairway guarded by dense bush with palm trees. The fairway widens out at the edge of the mainland guarded by palm trees that will stop any ball not well lofted. Hole 13 is situated on an island with a large brown. Another footbridge takes you to this island surrounded by quarter stream, along with its plethora of flora and fauna that makes this golf course special for nature lovers. Hole number 14, Oil Palms. Stroke Index 3 is indeed a tough hole. Palms on the right prevent slightly errant approaches to the fairway, and to left you will have to deal with bush and rough areas on this 312 yard par 4 with dog legs sharply to the left. Bust on the left and palms on the right on a bunker protects this rather difficult hole for errant golfers. A far brown side bunker seals your fate if you overshoot. Hole number 15, Darcy's Dilemma. The short 132-yard par 3 
from right under the tall palm tree seems quite easy if you hit the ball straight. Guarded by two brown side bunkers and a rough pathway over the brown makes this 17 stroke index hole not as easy as its stroke index suggests. Hole number 16 Everglades An intimidating over the mangroves marshy area tee shot on this 371 yard par 4 makes this a favorite place to lose a ball. An out of bounds on the right and a difficult terrain on the left welcomes you to the fairway and an approach to the brown. Palm trees on the right and a bunker on the left protects this stroke index 5 hole. Hole number 17, Fig Leaves, Par 4, Stroke Index number 9. A narrow pathway approach to the fairway blocked by a tall central palm tree takes you to this 365-yard fairway, past a huge fig tree on the left of the fairway. A narrowing approach to the brown that dog legs to the left makes this a not so easy approach to a brown guarded by a bunker on the left and palm trees on the right. Hole number 18, Dej Endorius. A 487 yard par 5 with a stroke index of 7. Bordered by an out of bound fencing on the right and a large fig tree on the left past palm trees overlooking the ladies' tea. Dog legs to the right past a large mango tree on the right. Two approach bunkers and large mango trees overlooking the brown on the far side. Mm -hmm.